Welcome to the Sticky Trifle Podcast. Hey man, keep a noise doing. I'm trying to trying to do a podcast here. Huh? What noise? We're in the mid May. The sun is shining the day, and I'm meeting my guest here at Herba. And if you've forgotten the name of this, well, it's card. Sticky Trifle Podcast. Hi, I got done. Welcome to Sticky Trifle Podcast. Sticky Trifle Podcast. And uh, once again, we're here, and uh, my guest, my guest today, uh, Jim Conan. Hello. Now we we came in each other for school. I certainly do. Same same year, same year academy. You know. We actually kind of pulled a boot pocket in the day. Aye. Not a lot, but we no, did. We right. did at times. Aye. You was more uh, rebellious and mischief than me, I think. <laughs> was you? Pro- maybe. <laughs> Probably. Um, but a minus in academy, a minus fine in academy. Aye, can't, can't, it was good, good days. Oh, definitely. Um, Tango Dark Berry, Ooh, if you're wanting. Aye. If you're wanting, Jim. Ooh, sounds. Uh, we're going to open us things and see if it like. Aye, and definitely. And actually, this is Tango Dark Berry. Right, Either have I. This is the first cheers. for me, you know. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's not bad, I eh? like it. Nice choice, Errol. I like fine. your, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. I'll tell the wife of mine. Oh, thanks for that. get into the house, eh? Aye. Aye, right, definitely. so, um, you've always been in the broch. I was been in the broch. Always been in the broch. Uh, and Furry Biden New. Is still, it? The still in the Brock. Right, Charlotte Street in the Brock. You're a real Brocker. Oh, aye. Aye, right, oh, through and through. Uh, you, you like football now, same man? Oh, I'm a football man. Man United? Man United, Aberdeen. Brock. Brock's my team here now. Nephew plays for them. Okay. And you're delighted with what they did a few months back. We went yes, in, uh, absolutely. I've been amazing. here. I've been following them all, all yep. season. Excellent. Him in a while, out of time, Skin. Great. Right, so, um, I was kind of um, like, I had uh, somebody else you came on. Like I'm, I'm on to back, which uh-huh. was uh, Paul and us. Aye, Dolly. Dolly, yes. And uh, he came from now. Total, total now, hero. Uh, right. When I see him and I see you, I kind of, I kind of think about religion. Uh-huh. When I see us, because you're in religion now. You've got yes, faith. I've got faith. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm a. Oh yes, I'm a, I'm a Christian. Right. So. Yes. And we'll get, can we get back to it shortly? Absolutely. Right. So right now, um, you're here today, and I was this. You was, you wasn't feeling great. No. But you, you've made it on. Aye. Hey. Different today, a bit aye, better today, so it's fine. fine. Can. Yeah. Hey, I've always been told that you can, hey, you can still put a bit of effort out if you're not hundred <laughs> percent. You're looking you fine can. to me here, anyway. <laughs> so. uh, and we've got a bonny day. Great day. Light Great location. Light and Lovely. Brilliant. So we couldn't ask for a better day. Yes. But um, for fit of mine, uh, in our younger days. Aye. Um, so like academy, as far as I can, after cut, you went to fishing. I went to CEI. So for, right. for, um, for, it was this as soon as you left school you went Aye, to uh, well uh, up until I left school uh, can I was I was I want to see you my dad holidays uh-huh. summer holidays Easter holidays study holidays and that was it can I was the guy to university or well, I just it, wasn't I, it for you no can my brother was at sea uh-huh. my dad was at sea and I just thought it was right to follow their footsteps you can yep. so it was I want to see you my dad since I was a baron so it just can that's what I was getting to do kind of set in stone that's just what Jim's getting to do after he kind of finishes it? I did, I, I loved it, loved it, loved the fishing. I still love all hang about the fishing yet, aye. even though I'm not at the fishing now, but I was doing the herbar all the time. You can you to get fishermen out of the, out of the fishermen line. And who was the first boat you was on? Uh, I bought quite a Canoot 2. Canoot 2. Canoot 2, two I made a lot of money. Uh-huh. It was very successful. I uh, was there for a, for a year as a young lad. Can, uh, was it a wire, half share? And can I, when you want to see I as a young loon, you had to mark X amount of money before you start paying tax. Uh-huh. Because I was marking, I was very successful, I was paying tax before no long at all because it was kind of marking good money. But it, it, it really helped me become a good fisherman because I kind had of to learn to start being up by the time, putting in shifts, being a kind of hard worker. Yep. And I, I, I developed that already because that was what my dad was like, my brother was like, you can, they were grafters. Are you, you're you're not fishing now? Do you miss it? Aye, aye, and I know why I miss it. I miss, so I miss certain things about it. 
If you can. some skip off to say, uh, with a bath going, you fancy, would you get back? No. <laughs> lay, well, no, lay, lay less of times, right? Ken, I, I've, okay. I've been asked plenty of times, Ken, ah. thing, I, uh, I still get in land. Uh, we, we boats, in fact, I see the new day dance over there. I was doing it to launch of that. Again, it's really good pals of mine that's just built up. I was doing it to launch it, and I get lumping jobs with them every time they come in. So, can I'm, I'm still kind of. I'm, I'm still at the fish a bit of it, just now you see, Ken. Right, okay. So, <laughs> fish on, how did it gain your mass with you? How, how did it, why did it stop? Uh, well, can I was at a fish up until the age of 36, but you can, I, uh, can for an early, can I, when I was a youngster, I, I loved playing football. I was, I was totally, can, that was my dreams, aspirations when I was a parent. I'm going to be a football player, can. And, uh, but can, as you get older, you, you, you maybe realise that, well, it's not going to be a reality for mm. you. Can yep. I discover that I maybe wasn't fast enough at running? All choices that I'd made and kind of took my off it, but I was captain of the boys' club. Uh, when the boys' club first started and my team, I was captain of the Brock Academy. Mm -hmm. uh, and I also played for a team in Everdeen. And if you played for a team in Everdeen for the Brock at that time, it was a bit much of a big deal. Mm -hmm. Can all the, all the guys that I played with went on to play for the Brock and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you can. Mm -hmm. Uh, but then, just as I got a bit of all our kin, choices, started smoking fogs, kind of, I want to see, nae being at home all the time, nae getting to go to fit bar and play fit by the same, kind of, things just started to change. So was this at fishing you started to smoke and uh, Aye, cigarettes? probably, probably been before I, I want to see that I'd started smoking, kind of, and I came at the right age, kind of, 13, 14, something like that, which was probably when I stopped playing for a boys club and kind of fit back in a tina, I can can I go to eat the side a bit? Oh, yeah. Still love football, can I followed Aberdeen, oh, Hawaii. Oh, oh, oh. I went to other, can I was all our lads that would have took me in as supporters, boss. Uh -huh. I would have been out the cup finals. For Aberdeen was kind of, I can worth going to see. Oh, oh, <laughs> can, but things have changed, can. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, but can and then forward other years, can I bark at football now again, like you can. So yeah. that kind of took a turn that it did. But just what I want to see. Uh, and then when I, I want to see at the age of fi I fifteen, can it was like the start of the uh, like the drug scene and stuff like that. You can. So was it? Um, or you, was there a lot of wild? So you was coming here for the fish and was there a lot of wild parties and the pubs and stuff? Oh I started going. Oh aye, that was all that was all happening. You can. Uh, was it that? Do you blame other folk for us? I would never ever blame anybody else. You can. I would never ever blame. Can it was just the culture if it was happening. We so much. I can and and it, and it broke at that time. You can fishermen were coming here and we asked much money. Uh -huh. And and is it uh, was was you wasting all your money at that I time? Spe I spe uh, you I can I was so I was the I was like the, the party, the rave scene can okay, early nineties. Uh, -huh. uh you can smoke and weed and stuff like that, but then we would be into the ease and to can, can get out and raving and I mean we would live for weekends. If you was gonna want to see you on a weekend, you was totally gutted because you can't. Abdi was gonna want to trap. You're missing. Abdi was gonna want a resurrection raves. They were gonna want and I can all nighters, mm -hmm. fantasias, you name it. The folk were gone to, and you were a bit, of a, you were a bit of a downer because uh -huh. they were gone to, and you were not getting to. You kind of live for a weekend. So if it happened with us, was when we was coming home through the week, we would hear in raves and hang through the week. <laughs> right, okay. It was just when I so looked or back. Or it, as soon as you got home, didn't matter for day. It was. Oh, you are. You can as long as you had somebody else can. And I was out with somebody else that was kind of if you were in uh, yep, uh, you can so we would just hear in like parties and right, raves so and everything. How how deep are we going with the drugs? Was well, it was it only thing? Well to start we it was just can like to start we it was harsh, smoking harsh right, and okay. can smoking weed and uh -huh. and then can I for uh, can then we got into Thames. Thames was kinda like can you needed can I was ease, speed, coke, can that was uppers, that was the party scene. But after the party scene you needed something to come down for it. Or you would just be up and you'd be kind of, you, you would just be in a mess, you can, because so you need a sleep. So that mean every day, w once you was here, was every, you was on something non Lay every and, day, lay yeah. every day. At the start, it was just like a weekend, but you'd, you know, want to see after your weekend and you'd kind of feel a bit rough for a couple of days and kind of just go on with You can, this was the four, kind of, we'd lead into heroin and that later, uh -huh. you can. But it was a two or three years of the party scene, a rave scene, uh, gone, uh, D and all that kind of, and kind of, I mean, I was Geely Eggs, I was thinking, like drugs that were called Geely eggs, they would kind of sort you a bit of it. But then, if it happened, was can would you can if there had been up a hill weekend, it would be like for Thursday night to Sunday night, just raving a hill weekend, can go into trucks, go into forever you was gone to. And can if you if you're getting a one, what I see on a Monday or a folk and I want their jobs again on Monday, 
you weren't ready. You just you were in a bit of a state. And like, I, so. I was about to say, so how much trouble did this get you into now when you was doing this stuff? Oh, I will. Was there a lot of trouble for fights and stuff? Well, I was, I was right, but then like the time of the the ease and stuff like that, it was it was kind of like a love drug. So you kind of like, it kind of made you love Abdi if you like. You oh, kind of wasn't the whole yeah. fighting thing. It was right. more like with drinking and stuff like that. But I was, I was the Peter Heed Brock thing going to trucks. Aye. Peter Heed would be I side, Broch would be other side, and Ken, I would always be, you would always hear your folk Aye. at like the scrap. And there was always a female Ken. stuck in the middle of this problem. Aye, a lot of times, like, <laughs> a lot of times, but you can, but Ken, if it had led to, you can, with the, with the rave scene, you, you could never ever get asleep, you could never ever get doing after your hell with Ken, they being up and partying and high. So then was okay, that's when we we real it was introduced to heroin. The heroin, the big bad drug that so, right, so, so the heroin, so it put that's powder? Aye, aye, brewing powder, right. And food would you food you would you snort in it? No, you can't snort it, but folk or would was have you like injecting? No, they they to start me. Right. They to start me, but fit folk would have done uh, would have chased it in tin foil. So you'd smoke it. Put it on a tin foil, you would smoke it in tin foil. And fit it was deal that nothing else could was it would take you down for your weekend. Mm -hmm. You would get a sleep. You would actually get a nap but you would after killing other Thames and other other kind of peels, Geely eggs. They weren't a deal for heroin with. And then you can heroin is something that you get addicted to because it's very, very powerful. It's very, very kind of And how's your diet for this was happening? Was you eating was you actually eating stuff? Not really. No. Not really when you were partying, but you just go what I see and start eating again, put on weight and I can just you would just kinda of try and you would try to get back to normality we're so going like, to see. You see, can. when you was at sea, you, you wasn't at taking off stuff, was you? No, 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 I would have just been finna... You'd be No, I would have just been finna came home. Right, you okay. can, like... Aye, aye. But then, once we kind of realised that heroin fed was dear to you, it was, can, it was just, we kind of fell in love with it a bit. Mm -hmm. You can, it kind of really got a hood of you. And did, it, was a, did the police can you, Jim? I've been, I've been, I have had uh, been in charge. I've been in trouble with the police and been charged uh, for the police or or years like me stuff like that. You can, but I wasn't, I wasn't like a big bad dealer or anything like that. You can, I would have been a user, but not so much a seller. So if you want like. to ask you a handcuffed question, kind of thing. Uh, but and, but uh, when you're in that kind of lifestyle and you're that kind of folk fired your life with and stuff, uh, you're always going to get in trouble because you'll never ever get a better. Or I'll always catch up with you. Aye. So, Ken, if you're doing something that's wrong, it's never ever get any good. Yep, and aye. it could take a long, long time before it gets that, but it's just what's going to happen. And so, so how how did that affect, say like, I presume your, your mum and dad and aye. folk like that, how did that impact in the family and when this was happening and this stuff? Well, you can, I, I had a great upbringing here, Ken, mum and dad, I never wanted for anything. Ken, mum and dad, loving folk, hard working folk, dad at fish and mum, worked in the fish as well, my brother. You can didn't want for Christmas bread. Just we got can we had a good life. You can, and you can so I'd get brought up with right morals and stuff like that. You can right. can I, you can the why somebody should be brought up really. So was that a rebellious side coming out for you? Ah, you can. It's like why you can. Yeah, I can why. You Just can. Is it was it to fit in? Was it because right. to do for Abdi else's DNA? I think we can. We're Abdi searching for something. Mm -hmm. You can a contentment. Uh, can I like to do for Abdi else was doing. I like to have a reputation. I like to kind of be in a boot we are for Abdi else was doing. But I would never ever blame anybody else for choices that I made. You can. I, I once heard before when you find out for you are, you'll make better choices and fit you do. And can the gym can for you is it at that time? Can that's a question to be asked. But again, I think I make a lot better choices a day, a lot harder than I did Aye. back then. But you can get back to I can like a heroin thing. You can so. The heroin started to get, you can, the rave scene started to pan the route a bit that it did, and then we started to start to get heroin at a time, and then one day you real, you're walking up and realise that you've got a habit. And so you, can, d you never lost your job at Fisher? Never lost my happened. job, near then. I had a good reputation, I was a grafter, right? I could do a hang in a boat, I could mend nets, I could put a wah fish, put a wah bone shot of fish, I could splice the ropes. Mm -hmm. You can, skippers, one skipper in particular that was very, very good to me, I treated me like a loon. And, if I was not living a life that I was, I would have been skipper of that boat until these end loons were up, mm -hmm. and they were all there because they were still kids at the time. So you can always make the boat, and I even had putting money I want my in the office for me to set my mates to get and stuff. But because I had now kind of an addiction for heroin, had now a part of my life, and just I was consumed by it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember, I remember, I can't imagine. Must have been the age of maybe twenty six. I mean, gone to gone to doctor with my dad. Now gone with my dad, that was a big uh, yeah. thing. Ken, my dad, my dad's skinny. My dad's old school. Uh, you can, my dad's skinny. It's not a D with folk. You can, uh, you get up uh, and you do your work, and that's it. 
you can. And uh, I went and got the doctors with my dad, and you can, okay, can I spoke about my problems, what's going on, spending all my money on gear, heroin, as it's called, because you can, it gets to that point for you, you need it all the time, you need it to function. You can, you're ill if right. you're not got it. Uh -huh. You can, it's for, for being an addict's like, because your body needs it to be able to function, or you're just, you got hate and cold, sweats, right. sickness, you name it. You can, so I mean, you must have been looking really unreal for your Aye, you your can, but because company. you're working, because Aye. you're going to see, still keeping your job, still Aye. coming home with money, you think, oh, really, can, you're not really seeing if it's going on, you're not Aye. seeing at the core if it's going on behind the scenes, can I think, you can keep a job, as long as I keep a job, but if it was a deal with my money, I think when I, was a, when I first started to see it, all this insurances set up and money put away, nothing like that, but as I started to get into this lifestyle, you can I started just taking it all one and nothing to show for my name. You can get coming home to see we a massive, massive trip, getting your getting wages, you can big, big trip and then I thought you can't show for it. Nothing to show for it. I want you I want you I want to see you again skint. Hmm. And it was again that was the opposite of what my family was like, well my dad and my mum, you can my mum and dad have worked hard all their life. And I presume and they was trying to get us through to you that you had nothing to show. Oh yeah, I mean yeah, coming home. I was can I I mean coming home and uh, one time, I could still mind this, but it's sitting at him, and I mean, it must have been, I can't mind for the time, for the year, Dumb and Dumber came out, I mean, Dumb and Dumber, right? Aye, yes, sir. The Fulham, all the way, I mind watching it, I like him why, but I mind it being on the house, and I can mind watching it, my mum, and my mum sent my Andrew James, Andrew James is my Sunday name, formal name, Aye. if you like, Abdi right. Kane's my Jim, but Aye. Andrew James is my name, but I get called Jim, because my dad called me when I was a bear, and <laughs> Jim short for James, and I've just yep. been called it ever since, Abdi Kane's my Jim, Corin is. A lot of folk when I came for Andrew James, oh, yeah. it's funny because a lot of folks followers at school with moms and dads would still call me my Andrew, Andrew James, James, you can. But I could still make my mom sent my back in, she says, Andrew James, you're working so hard for your money, you've got nothing to show for it. And I mind at that point can be really, really doing I mind. I was just broken, you can I just thought, can I uh, this is not good, this is not good, right. but I just couldn't get out of it. Eh? Just tried doctors, addiction was tried totally doctors, tried getting medication, can prescription. Uh, so I was now going to see Wima prescription medication Wima that I would can I can I help me a bit still. For it, you can it needs to be a change a, a change of mindset a change of thinking. And I can't I would I was get it when I came home Aye. my money. Aye. You can I just had no had no power over it at all. I hadn't. You so for age did you get off it? Age of 36. So 36 21, 21 year 20 20 21 year. What do you thank for us? What do you thank for getting off it? Is there somebody? Well. It, it's 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 incredible the way it happened. So obviously you 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 dolly on can, uh, a couple of podcasts right. yep. uh, ago, and right. I mean uh, I was in hospital. So by this time, can I'd, my, I was I'd lost enough of weight. My health had deteriorated. Can I was kind of can my teeth and everything just rotten. Can all oh, my dignity and everything had gone because it was all about. Can I might come in here for see and sometimes I'd come here and. I'd be a couple of days at home and still leaving him and show up nothing yet wow. because he was so caught up on this lifestyle. Coming home with big bucks, mm. you needed to get sorted. Mm. You can the feeling oh, it's amazing, huh? Eh? Mm. The feeling can you can I always heard this you can control the choices you make, but you can't control the consequences of the choices you make and it's it's bang on, huh? Eh? Mm. And I just couldn't get out of this rut of choices that I was marking and the way I was living my life. But anyway, I was in hospital in two thousand and twelve. You can just in a mess and I mean my, my leg was in a mess that it was we injecting because I'd now been injected, I'd been injected for years. Mm -hmm. You can now, it was fitting good to just degrade in your cell, you can, but you just, you can, that's, that's what happens with addiction. And I mean, uh, there was a nurse in the hospital and she, she wasn't even my nurse that she was now, but she came over to me at night and she just says, it doesn't need to be like this for you, my loon. And I mean, she told me about, she told me about Teen Challenge, she told me about the solid rock coffee. Sword Rock Coffee, Outreach Coffee in Fraserburgh. You can, I'd been in it, I'd been in it for Christmas Day and all that like that. I'd been in it for other wrong reasons, if you like. Mm -hmm. You can, uh, years previous to it, you can do it again, I'd been in for like just certain different things. Now, I mean, she told me that day, you, you should go down and see Dolly. Oh, I can Dolly, mm -hmm. I can Dolly, fine, I did, you can, because we, we went a while back, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. We didn't even know we were like closest to Paul's up, but we just kin each other. Yep. You can. And I was swimming at night that she, can she also spoke to me about, you can, that her sister and I had a church and that in Aberdeen. And uh, this is for a teen challenge, guys, go to it. It's about a faith-based uh, uh, 
a faith based recovery centre, again for folk can kinda of find purpose, get 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 their lives back if you like, you can. Yep. And I was something about what she said to me that night that made me it was like a turning like point. It was a turning point in my life and I mean the very next day I went doing a scene dolly. And it was incredible. It was the start of uh, uh, I mean I went to Soul Drug Coffee, it was a Tuesday afternoon and I mean kinda of just kinda of, I was a I was a mess, Errol. And it was I a realisation, just a realisation. I, 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 just, I was craving I was craving help, you can I, I I tried suicide. You can. I tried suicide to command life. If you said suicide, how would you? I, I, I wanted to. Try, I wanted to hang myself. Gee, bad. Again, I was that bad. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, a night after a hell night of crack and heroin. You can just. I was supposed to be going to what I see mm -hmm. the next day. That was, and I, I just couldn't go. But I mean, walking up the bypass can hear me after spending a crazy amount of money at night. Mm -hmm. And I even went to somebody's bucket and took their. I uh, took a towel off their watching line. Wow. Me thinking I'm getting a gang it. And I mean, uh, I ended up doing it playing fields in the brook, and I mean, I just, oh, I was, I was, I was horrible that it was. But I just mean, get into the trees doing the playing fields, and I mean, for about six hours, just get in there and just bawling my heart off, and just get. I mean, uh, I put my phone off and all I got. I didn't turn up the boat to go out to sea. Uh, I mean, my mum and dad didn't now phone the police because they didn't came for I was at as he did for the yacht. Why didn't he turned up to go to the boat? Nobody could get a hold of him. I mean, for I put on my phone. Very first thing was a message from my dad. My dad had been trying to phone me, and then I phoned my mom, and you can. And it was just, can, I just, I, I just, I was just beside myself. You can. I needed help. So anyway, grant that day that I would do to do uh, do all can. I mean, he prayed for me. You can. He told me about team challenge and fit a good day for me. Can faith based, uh, but can told me about some people that had been. I didn't really can. I didn't really can much about it. I can. I was guys and maybe went to a lot of Wales. Uh, years before, but I didn't really care if it had meant or if it took. I guess it was because I never really wanted it. I was trying to tell myself that I was okay, but I wasn't. And uh, so that was a starting process for me getting a lot of rehab. For me getting a lot of rehab to kind of get get better, and to, get, to get well. It's a teen challenge, so far did you head to? So that's what I went to. So this was in March 2012, and the 4th of April 2012 was the first day that I went into Sunny Bray. Sunny I mean, Bray. Sunny Bray is for a workout a day, but only while. Is it Peter Heed, Sunny no, Bray? No, it's up in 5E. Right, okay. It's 5E, Sunny, Sunny Bray. And, it's, uh, and, you, and uh, you work here now? I work here now. I'm a, I'm a support worker here now. But I went through, I was 2012. I mean, I'd go up my interview and I went up, and you can something here, all. My life just changed. I, it was incredible. And so for, for you on Sunny Bray, I just knew. Uh, you're dealing with I'm, I'm, I'm now working with guys th it's th that would like me. I'm uh, now can so like when I went in, I was staff that invested into me, they poured into me, they told me, they can they, they showed my love, they, they right. can told me about purpose and that your life just uh, you can as a as a hell like schedule of how they run a program here. You can buy there for a year that you div, you can as class or working. Working was never a problem for me, right. so I got it. I got the whole routine of the program and stuff like that. But I just wanted to get better. I just wanted to find some kind of hope within my life. And how, uh, how are you find that young uh, working with your younger ends and helping them? And oh, it's just uh, it's just amazing because I, I can have been through it myself. I have, and did I get my wrong? It comes with its challenges that it does. But I think it RB deserves a chance. Eh? Mm -hmm. There's so much folk uh, that that come in with us that again, you, you would never ever can with some folk stories and their lives is actually like. I thought my life was bad until I hear somebody else's. Aid. Never had a mom and dad. And Never had home dates, kind of loved them and kind of told and them. And that's the Zines, it's meant to try and get through life, and then I got aye, mum and dad, aye, and they have to aye, try and make decisions aye, through one another. Aye, and can I never, again, as guys, never ever did a day's work in their life, never, they didn't know how to. Mm -hmm. It's the culture, that was their reality. Mm -hmm. So I came through the programme that I did, kind of, I, I got saved, I became a Christian, and because it, it's a faith based mm -hmm. centre with the uh, it's Christian principles. You can, my granny and granda were devout Christians that they were loved, loved, I can, loved God. Mm -hmm. And you can, they've been in Bread Sea and I can, but I, to me, I, d I didn't want that for my life. I just thought, why, I can, I, it's boring. So, you can. can we speak about that? Because, Aye. do you talk to, like, Jesus? Absolutely. So, for, you'll say a Absolutely. Prayer, you I'm say a Christian, I would say my stuff. prayers every day. I read the Bible every day. Yeah. I mean, when I was going up to Sunny Bray that day, uh, I mean, I got a, a, I got a book, I got a Bible for Dolly, and on the very first page, I was actually just sharing this in my church just the other day, because uh, it was ten year to the day that kind of that I'd went to one, and that's how long I'd been clean, and you can. And I mean, it says, Jim, fourth April two thousand and twelve, first day in Teen Challenge. I, I hope and pray that the pages in this book come alive to you. Then he says, 
this is only the beginning of Neil Lennon quote. Now, Neil Lennon was a fit by manager right, of Celtic, right. Ken. Yeah. I'm an Aberdeen man, that was yeah. the only bit I got. I was like, what's he on about? What's he on about? You can, but you can something. It was like, uh, it, was, it was bang on, eh? Huh? It was written there, just became my reality, yeah. And so, and and so that's, that's, that's belief in her. Aye. For does it give you? Is it just giving you a, a fullness? Fulfillment. Like a, fulfillment aye. in life. You can contentment. You can a reason to get up every day to live for. You can to live for something. You can. I wouldn't have managed to do if I am a day if I hadn't a God in my heart. You can, because... Uh, it, it marks a difference. It marks a difference for me and how I see people. I've got to see the guys that come in with us past their issues. I've got to see past mm -hmm. their behaviour, if you Aye. like, because there's issues that cause behaviour. Aye. You can, like for me, can, 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 I, I remember folks saying to me, can, you, you, can, you can never ever go back to Broch. I might think, I can't go back to Broch. The Brock's never but a problem. The Brock's was it, was it like place. Flip? Did you feel you can? embarrassed? You mean? Uh, no, no, just because uh, Abdi that you can was maybe doing the same thing. And you didn't want to get. Can, get you didn't want. Uh, you can. You got to make a decision to yeah. come away from your network of folk. If Abdi you can is Dean Fitz till I took you as place, mm -hmm. you've got to make choices did, now. Did you? you did you lose a lot of folk back then? Now, and I'm uh, aye, so many. In that circle for you we was the same here at school. Aye. The amount of people that's near here on ML. We I, I, overdoses. Aye. Aye. Overdoses, folk committing suicide because of the couldn't get out what lifestyle as well. They, they, they just had no, no hope left and they took their own lives. You can, it's heartbreaking. And as I say, and I speak to some other guys as well who are age, it's kind of, we've got a lot to be thankful for because we escaped and got out of it. You can. And, and let's speak about your own family circle now. Aye. Now. I didn't care a lot about. Like um, after after you left school, I did care. Aye. You you went outside of things, but I can't think about your Aye. right Aye. life. So if Aye. I'm right, you you had a brother or not? I had a brother. I saw my brother Brian. So he uh, 2020. Can I got I got married. I got married. So my wife Billy. To Billy my wife Billy Billy, Billy Jane, Jane McFarlane. Right. Now okay. Billy Jane Conan. Uh, we got we got married on the 8th of February 2020. Kind of, kind of fell in love in 2019. Two Aye, just oh. two, it was just her two year anniversary in February. How did you meet her? Uh, so I, uh, well she does the same as me. She come, uh -huh. she she works in uh, our women's centre. She's in our men's yeah. centre, Sunnybrae, she's Benaya. But uh, other kind of chums and stuff like that, they kind of said, I can, they kind of planted a seed. Mm -hmm. You give it like, you're at age, you can. Oh, Jim, what about uh, Billy? Aye, <laughs> and that's kind of pretty much how it happened. There was like a seed was planted. The, you you keep it like friendly. Did you her? I didn't even care. I didn't even care yeah. until the seed was planted. Then you can you give it like you can. Yeah. Uh, get Facebook friend request, right. Facebook message. Hey, if it like, right. just starting for there. Eventually we went out the date. I can't. You can. I can't that she came through a program as well. She would come through her own. Mm -hmm. uh, you can maybe you'll hear right. on your cell and she'll yep. tell about her right. story. Right. But she had similar circumstances to me. And uh, a lot in common, that way things a lot in common, you can, but I can't she did enough of him enough and Aye. was finished with that lifestyle. And I mean, uh, we was at a, a, a graduation, I mean, when she graduated a uh, Benaya program, and I mean, thinking I was two things I loved the way she spoke about her kids, and I loved how authentic and real you can. I wasn't a pit on, we just can, she just wanted to do what she could to make her life better and can I be responsible, be mom again. And, I, and that was just after that when I got like fit with Billy. So then we kind of went out a couple of dates that we did, kind of, and then before you can it, we fell in love, uh, got engaged. I was doing it one day on the 20th October 2019 at Donatar Castle. Wow. Uh, got, got engaged there, and then it was wedding planning after that. We got married uh, fe uh, 8th of February 2020 at our church up there, uh, Queen's Road, AOG, Assembly of God. Fantastic day, and best day ever. It was incredible. She's improved your life. Oh, just by amazing, far. just yeah. amazing. She's special, it is, you can. She just gets man, I right. get her, eh? And f you and your, your brother, let's get Aye. back to your brother earlier. So that was 2020, I kill. so that was 8th of February, when I won our honeymoon, and uh, after we came back, it was three weeks after that, the Covid happened, we went into lockdown, Ken, like, oh, Ken, thankful. We, we, got, we got sorted before, kind of, <laughs> Covid happened, Aye. you can. But uh, 20, uh, 23rd of April, I just finished my work up at Sunny Bray, and uh, my dad phoned me. And I'd finished in the morning, the Thursday morning, because I was getting back on the Saturday, and my, my dad phoned me and says, that's the police just off the phone, it's Brian, my brother, who'd been found dead in his flat. Eh? He had, uh, he had been found dead, he was at 50 year old. 50 year old? I mean, did, did he bide here in the Brock? Aye, aye, he bade in the Brock, he'd been in the Brock, same house for years, and 
Infotainment. Get it. And I can it was through can through substances and I had been in his body you can uh, and I mean I just can you didn't expect it to get happen to you even though that's what I'm doing every day working with folk and getting through that kind of stuff. And I presume was you reaching out down before? I well, I mean just three weeks or two or three weeks or four. I mean me and my wife Billy had seen him. Uh, we didn't see each other every day. I spoke every day, but can I mean you can. Seeing him and I mean I mean girl like this to my uh, to my wife Billy, Gil really is Brian's not in a good way, he's really in a good way. But again, I, I we've seen it we've seen it over the years with previous to other things as well, myself as well, and you kinda get better if you like yeah. a bit, you can. So when my dad fought my wee art, you can it was I it was just heartbreaking how, it was. How close was your bond with Brian and I was, was We were we were I uh, kill and things change when you get married and Aye. I see so I, I bed my brother for the years that I did when I was mad with it as well. You can we we stayed together at we did North Bray Heads. I presume do you uh, look at a lot of scenarios, Jim, of how you could have changed that and right. then we am, but it's it's suited your control, eh? He wanted to, uh, he he went to rehab as well. Mm -hmm. He went to rehab at two or three times and did half off a wheel that he did, but you can I was always like a relapse and kinda of things kinda of like something happened that would kinda of make him go back. You can I might see him with Billy and, and uh, saying to Billy, can, if, he, if this guy's like us, he's not getting along. Mm -hmm. You didn't think it's going to become your reality. Right? So I mean that day from, from my dad phone, my kid felt like just shocked. It was the heart of Covid, couldn't leave, I was no <laughs> vaccines or nothing yet. Right. Couldn't even give mum or dad a cuddle, a hug. Um, I must have been very sad, it emptiness. Aye, very, very, aye. I mean I phoned my wife, she came home for her work straight away. You can't feel like broke dude. Yep. Broke dude to half for a filey. Uh, I phoned Dolly. I phoned Dolly Paul and us. Broke my heart to him. And then I phoned my boss Gordon. Mm -hmm. Broke my heart to him. Mm -hmm. And you can. I'm just thankful that I had the right kind of network of folk around the boot man mm -hmm. to support me. Mm -hmm. Again, my wife had she experienced the same because she lost her brother years ago, mm -hmm. years mm -hmm. before that as well. Similar kind of circumstances. Yeah. So she got it. You can. And uh, aye, so that was half of a sad. You can. And, and, and for that, for, for if you took, is it like, see the faith that you've got in, uh -huh. has that kept you very, like, strong? Aye, absolutely. Aye. Absolutely, Ken. I, I think it can, can my, my life is, can, I live my life a day for God. God gives my comfort in times I need. God gives my strength when I need it. Uh, you can, and without God in my life at that time, it could have been very, very different. You can, he was, he was our comforter. And can the folk in my church and I think were just amazing. Mm -hmm. You can, and you can, like, when I got married, can, obviously, can, my wife's got three kids as well, mm -hmm. so I, I became stepdad to Jenna, uh, to Logan, and to uh, Jordan. Uh -huh. So, can, they're all, they're all up, like, and uh -huh. then just after, not long after Brian, uh, your Paul Do Dolly did the, the funeral. Okay, we was allowed 20 folk, we got 20 folk at uh, just heartbreaking like you can we go out, uh, that was a tough time for mom and dad but I can I needed to be strong for them, eh? yep. you can because they needed uh, me you can and uh, uh, just after that our, our Jenna my stepdaughter, our granddaughter was born so baby Eva was born, Excellent. you so can so she's a what to be two. She's a what to be two. Well, my uh, life is really good. Aye, here. It's, aye. it's very rewarding now. Yes. I yes. Aye. aye. Um, so about the future, Jamin. Is it going to start? You just you're always going to be doing the support work at Sunnybrae. You think? Abs well, you can. There's no, there's no, there's nothing in me to change. You can. Yeah. Like why we speak about the fish and nothing like that. You can. I guess if I ever lost my job or if that job was not available, you can. Maybe you would hate to go back to sea one day. But I can. For I'm doing is right. For him at, you can like last year I just got a, a change of responsibilities. Uh -huh. So I've worked in Sunny Bray since 2014. Can twenty uh, 23rd of June is when I uh, my first day working here. Can after I finished the programme 2012, I went down to England for a year and a half. Uh -huh. Worked at the Keen Challenge. I did a thing called a ministry course. Yeah. Uh, school of ministry. And uh, uh, great. Uh -huh. Can I I'm yeah. doing England can uh -huh. you can have it like Doric? I'm gonna. Who's, I'm kept on saying Ken. Who's Ken, Jim? Who's Ken, Jim? <laughs> I'd even learn how to speak different. <laughs> we had a fantastic time doing our different right. culture. Uh -huh. You can just different network of folk. It was really good for me. It was good right. for me growing as a person. It's like open getting a waff of the now, getting a waff of your normal, your familiar. Mm -hmm. So I was a waff of the broke for a good lot of years. You can. I was in 2012 and my weekends out, days out, my program home noon again. Then I was in England, and then I, I, I can abide in Aberdeen for a filey. Mm -hmm. I abide in Aberdeen for a few years. I came back here in 2018, 
to bide and kind of, kind of, I was at church in Aberdeen, came back to Brock and just got totally involved in it. You can love my church, my church is amazing. You can. And, and so obviously you've, you've really changed that person, big mm -hmm. time. Um, see, for you speak about that changes, like, see forgiveness, is that folk for your past? If they forgive you in the past? In fact, I mean, well, if the folk you feel that you had relations with, and didn't get that good? Aye. How do, how do you well, for, I, find out? For, like for me, for forgiving other folk, you can, can, can your, th your relationship with God is all about forgiveness. You can, and as God's forgive you, you have to forgive other folk. Mm -hmm. and, but you're not responsible whether folk forgive you or no. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's not your, you can. But what I will say is, is the folk had to say sorry to all and apologise. I remember, see, that nurse, uh, for uh, the way she was with me I, at night in church, I remember when I was on my programme, I wrote a letter to her thinking, she'll never mind if I am or anything like that, you can. Within a two or three days, I got a letter back for her, she was just shocked and just so chuffed and happy for me. It's been a big part of my life now, I up to this day, you can, I mean, great influence, support. Took my mum to meet and anything, you can, <laughs> over the years, and you can, but for folk forgiving me, that's not that's not my responsibility to do that. You've just got to be but, okay. But at the same you know? time, for your dinner with us younger ends, is Aye. that's that's your payback. Yeah. Absolutely, life. absolutely, you can because again, it's like I'm doing what folk did for me. Uh -huh. You can, I'm uh -huh. doing folk passed on the baton to me and kind of love man, gave my hope and a reason that your life can not change, Jim. Your life mm -hmm. does mean you've got potential. Mm -hmm. There's meaning for your life, and you can. And I'm just wanting other guys to get something off I've got. And have a fantastic life today. You can, I've got rheumatoid arthritis. <laughs> and is that, how, 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 have you gotten that through uh, drug abuse? Now? Well, no, 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 again, my mum, my granny had arthritis, but they didn't have rheumatoids. Rheumatoids were aggressive, you can. And, and so how does that a, affect you? It's been a whole journey of discovery, really. How does that can. affect you, Jim? Uh, can I, I mean, when I got, I got diagnosed week when I was on my programme, 2012, that I did. I always did winner like, because my last two or three years at sea, I could mind some days we had really sore hands and I couldn't even open a door. My hands would be like boxing gloves, skin. Your knuckles nothing disappeared because so, they swallow. Only up. the hands and arms. Hands and arms. Shooters sometimes. Nah, Shooters nah, nah. maybe. You can, but I still play my fit man. So you can, it's manageable, right, yeah. it's well manageable, but just, it's been, I've been doing days we and stuff like that because you're sore, it's flare ups, but it's just working with rheumatologists and do, uh, doctors and that. It's just been, uh, I've learned to kind of manage it properly. You can, I'm, I, I'm on a medication called methotrexate, which is, uh, can totally floors your immune system, mm -hmm. that it does, and so, but as long as you can, uh, you do the right thing and speak to the right folk, yeah. you'll you'll be all right. Can I, I, I play fit by the time now, play fit by the time. I do fit by on a Friday night with the parents for church. I do work in fit by with my boys club manager and all them, all our lads that kind of, Help me become a football player. I do that on a Friday morning, and then a Monday night with your football as well with the with the with the young reins. I can just I adults, but young reins can folk it. I play for teams and stuff like that. It's great. You've got so much going on in your life. Oh, you ain't got time for you, have you? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> if I was going to make time for you, that's, that's what my wife would say to me as well. You some need some you time, and that's can that's something right. you cannot you can. I, I, I like to just chill out sometimes. I kinda, I, I'm delighted getting home and watching my football. Right. Again, so my nephew. So football is your main TV oh, I, kind of oh, I, I, right. I love football. I'll watch only kind of football. Right. Aberdeen man, but my nephew Scott, my brother's loony. Uh -huh. Again, he plays for the Brock, top goal scorer. Again, uh, I can see him all the time. I def, I like to see him a day. I will. Yep. And yeah, it's, it's just been great. You can, I, I love playing football and following, following football. Right. You can. And that's, that's my main thing. We, we do Monroe's, me and my wife, we like to climb Monroe's. We've done five well, Monroe's. You can, I we, we like that, and it's just coming into Monroe's season aye, again, yeah, the bony aye, weather. Aye. You can. We could maybe have swimming later on if you want here. Or mm. No, we'll get I've done, I've done that plenty of times but before, yeah. like, oh, aye, oh, aye, oh, I feel the pier or air. I feel the break water. And uh, before I go, I uh -huh. would say, I can, my dad and your dad can each other. If I see, and you, you was at sea with I your dad. I was at sea with your dad years ago. Yes. And you've said he was a funny guy. Great guy, funny. I, I can still remember. I'm pretty sure it was the sunrise that he was. Your dad was a while we saw him. And you can, uh, with I, I just I've got good memories. I, I think I probably mind back for I've got really good I'm memories. Saying, oh, you can find my wee Jim. Aye. Wee Jim. And I was like, oh. Aye. So, um, Aye. I want to say thank you very much for coming Name on. Uh, your story, very rewarding story you've got in. Yes. Just the fact how our things now, like risen and. Aye. It's not fulfilling for you, yes. is it? Yes, it's great, it's sure. great. It's just, again, 
just thankful, I'm a thankful guy. I didn't think of myself better than nobody else because I'm not. Nobody's better than anybody else. Right. And I think it, you, uh, we need to ken out about ourselves that you can, that everybody deserves a chance and you can, and when you get it right, you can, you'll live a decent life, you'll learn to make better choices. I'm starting to find that life's kind of short now, is it? Oh aye. We're running oh out of time, Jam. Oh aye. Oh yeah. We're running out we're of time. We're not getting any younger. Okay, <laughs> it's 30 years ago, 30 <laughs> years ago was an academy. It was. <laughs> right, smart. thank you very much. Yeah, bother right And uh, all the best for the future. Thank you very much. And I've loved having you on. Great, thank you so much. Right, we'll see you next Sticky week. Sticky Trifle Podcast. Trifle podcast will return next week. And I've got to say, it's amazing that somebody that's had so much lows in their life is now riding high. And the ones he's helping is going through the same things he once did. Right, I've actually been offered a berth in this boat, so hopefully I'm back in time for next Sunday, eh? And next week, am I really marking number 50? Number 50? Is it time to retire? Hmm. See you next Sunday. Bye. Podcast.